praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, mommy. Thank you very much. God bless you. To God be the glory. I welcome you. Can I hear some hallelujah in the house? For those who are watching, wherever you are, can you say hallelujah in the name of Jesus? Heavenly Father, we want to say thank you for this afternoon. Thank you for this fellowship of the lunch hour. Under the great theme called humility. We thank you for this arrangement. And we thank you for the upcoming conference of humility. We ask you to speak to us. Take us to another level of understanding and knowledge. Of your word and of what they exactly want us to know about humility. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Most High. Amen. My name is Emma Marvin Seruyange. The late Bishop Senfuma was my speech of father. That means I'm a child in this place. And I take it a honor to be here today. And I want to, to thank God for everyone who follows these programs of the Word of God. There is a uniqueness in the word of God in this place. And uh, you need this word. You know, I grew up, I grew up in a full gospel church. But when I was a young boy, young kid, I didn't know what exactly they were meaning by saying full gospel. But basically they were saying that the gospel, you don't have to get the half of it, but it has to be a full gospel. Amen. Now because of the time that we have, the last time that I was here with Mama and Pastor Kasozi, we shared off something here. And we talked of, uh, we talked of humility. Uh, I want to recommend this book. Those who are here and to those who are watching us. You need, to, you need to buy this book. There is a reason why in, the, in, all his, in the bishop all his life he began with this message and then he ends up with this message. Have you ever thought about that? His, his early messages, he did a lot of humility. And then in his last days, he talks about this. So you need to read this book. Find it while you can. Eh? You know we are breaking the culture of not reading. Amen. Amen. I want to appreciate God for my interpreter. And also my dear interpreter. Amen. Now today, I want us to continue with what I talked about when I was asked, what do I understand by the humility? When someone talks about humility, there are many things that come in your understanding. Sometimes when, God, when someone talks about humility, many things come into your understanding and you can say maybe humility is walking careful. Maybe it is over kneeling. Maybe it is slow speaking. Praise the Lord. Maybe taking long to talk, being in a place and you are 
quiet. Well, some of these things I've mentioned may be signs of humility. But they don't mean humility. Like fever can be a sign of any sickness. You can have flu and you get some fever. You can have malaria and get some fever. So not necessarily every time you have fever you have malaria. There are those who talk very fast and very naughty but they are humble. Amen. So humble is a is seen. You can see it. Amen. 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 It is in the heart, the goodness and the feeling that is within the heart. Humbleness comes from the heart. And the opposite of humbleness is pride. So pride also comes from the heart. So as, as it is that the pride of the heart changes also the outside of the looking of the person. Also, humility can begin to shape the way you behave, the way you give your hand to someone. So what already someone is inside forms the outside. So amongst the many things that come to someone when you talk about humility, me today I want to talk about one of it. And one of it, uh, uh, it is... Uh, when, when someone talks about humility, what comes within me? Why does God want us to hear this message of humility? Secondly, is it important for someone to know about this message as well? Why don't we just talk about how to prosper and how to be a powerful minister and how to be everything? Now, the medicine to pride is humility. I'm in a church. Amen, church. The message, I mean the message, the doors, the, 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 uh, uh, the vaccine of, of, of pride vaccine is humility. If you don't get this message and allow it to go through your life, your heart, there are levels you are going to come upon and pride shall come in your heart. And you all know the, what pride brings. The Bible clearly says that pride brings Fall. When you are pride, it will, it's going to lead, pride is going to lead you to fall. And pride is within everyone. Though it manifests as we grow to different levels. Or today that is watching me, you don't have pride. Because there is a level you haven't mounted to. You haven't yet got a car. You're still walking on foot. That is why you see your humble. Even promising you do promise. That when I buy a car, I'll be giving a lift to everyone. But you can forget that statement once you buy a car. So, so the things we always mount to are different levels. They cause pride unto us. That is why you need to humanize pride. This week we are entering is a week of humanizing pride in the name of Jesus. I've seen people I have seen people when they are pouring the anointing because of pride. I have seen people when they speak like this, you feel they are good. 
Bahrain pride took away people from such a person. So the only way we can deal with pride in our generation. Is when we start to talk about the message of humility. And it is my prayer we won't talk about we won't only talk about it today. But the Lord will give us that spirit of humility. That God will raise a generation of ministers and leaders who are humble for God. Someone say amen. I want us to read in the in the chapter I quoted last time, then I'll give another one as well today. Njagala to some musula jena semba yo kogira luli or lanja or vanyu manja kongira kwa walala. That was Isaiah. Isaiah chapter twelve. Yesaya is sula ya kumine bidi. Isaiah chapter 12. Yesaya kumina bidi. Can you read in Luganda my, my daughter? Um, Isaiah 12. Kumina bidi. Um, Before Isaiah, let's read Daniel 4.4. 4. Daniel Nyanya. Daniel Suleyo Kuna or Kuna. So as she's going to read. When they talk about humility, I tend to ask, why does God talk about humility in the Bible? And why would God say, I want to work with the humility? And God says, I am. I lift up the humble ones. But I put down the pride people. Why does God lift up the humble ones? Because only the humble ones are the ones that can maintain the higher levels. We've begun to speak now. The Bible says God lifts those who are humble. But those who are proud, he brings them down. Why does the Lord choose the one who is humble to lift them up? Because the humble because only a humble person can handle any elevation of going up. It means there are levels you'll never be able to mount to when you won't be able to sustain them because you're not humble. Humility helps us to sustain the anointing the Lord has put over us. Humility helps us to sustain the levels where the Lord is taking us to. When I look at humility, I sit in all areas of life with so much needed there. For example, if you want the Lord to give you a marriage, what has killed marriages most today is the hidden pride that he cannot be seen. What I've discovered mostly, people take long to discover their pride. When you go in the place of work, you will find that humility helps us to work with people. When you go in the area of being nurtured, and to all of us who want to be ministers and we get to be nurtured, it is so hard to be nurtured unless if you accept to be humble. When we go towards the side of leadership, it is very hard to lead people unless if you're humble. Because people are complicated also. They are going to despise you. They are going to underlook you. And yet you are 
our leader. So every area of our lives, we need to be humble. When we talk about humility, this is what I think God is dealing with. God is dealing with what the word we call I. Someone say I. Selfishness. Myself. Me. The all me. Now that word I. As I've been reading the Bible. I don't think it it was given to us. It may be in our vocabularies. I am Emma. I live in Wakiso. I am married. We use it to identify, to uh, explain ourselves, to define ourselves. But in the language of operating, in the spiritual language the word I belongs to God in Genesis when God asked when Moses asked God who are you if I go to them and they ask me who has sent you who will I tell them? And Moses say, and God says, go and tell them that I, I, sent you. I am who I am. So the word I belongs to God. Now, you watch. Watch people who use I in everything. You are going to, to see them and you see there is pride in them. They will not take long in ministry or in anything. People who always say, I made those people. I built that house. I am the one who is supporting that ministry. I am the one who is feeding that family. I, that car is mine. I bought that land for the church. Because I, the moment you raise I, I takes away. God. I built that church. I brought that church from nowhere. You are not the one who did all those things. It was the Lord working through you. So I believe the I belongs to God. So when God comes to talk about humility, simply claiming for his eye back. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Because pride takes away God. What does pride do? Pride takes away God. In ministry, the moment a leader gets pride, He's no longer saying God. He begins to say, I. If I touch you, you'll be blessed. If I enter your house, oh, just come and test my anointing. Actually, it is not even your anointing. It is God's anointing upon you. Amen. Amen. It is God is anointing upon you. It is not your anointing. So the moment we talk about humility, we are taking man back to his place and bringing back God to his place. Now, Uganda, are we together, brethren? Every time we talk about humility, this week we are entering. We are praying as ministers. It takes back to our position and also brings back the Lord in his position. If you're clapping for the Lord, let it be more than that. Okay. Daniel. Daniel chapter 10. Daniel chapter 14 from verse 12. I'll start from that one, then I'll take you back to the other one. 
Isaya 14 ore 12 Aha Nga ogudde okuva mugulu Nga ogudde okuva mugulu Gwe munye nye yensha Aha Omwana wensha Aha Ngo temedwa okutuka kutaka mm. Gwe yameganga mawanga mm. No yogera mutima gwonti ndiri nyamu gulu mm. ndi gulumiza entebe yango kusinge munyanya za katonda mm. era ndi tulakulu sozo rechibina ku kunjui ezenko melerezo buchika obwakono mm. ndiri nyo kusinge ebire we bikoma mm -hmm. ndi fana noyo ali wagura nyo mm. now listen to this how are you fallen from from heaven o lucifer son of the morning how you are cut down to the ground you are weakened to the you are weakened the nations for you have said in your heart i will ascend to heaven i will exalt my throne above the stars of god i will also sit on the mount on the mount of the congregation of the farthest sides of the north i will ascend above the highest of the clouds I will like the most high. I will be like the most high. Now, what does this mean? The devil was lifted up. He was anointed. He was a great minister. He was a morning star. He was handsome. He was a good singer. And when all these things were put upon him, the word I came. And he began to see himself not whether to be where he was. And he said, I will lift up my chair. Lucifer never committed adultery. The only sin that made Lucifer fall down was lack of humility. He developed pride in him. Pride will make you feel I don't submit. That cannot be my pastor. That cannot be my leader. I will work to against him. Pride, lack of humility has brought competition in the house of God. Lack of humility has brought, has brought ourselves to be wanting to go up. We cannot submit to leadership because of I. Lucifer says, I will lift my chair and push where God is. In other words, God is supposed to be down, I'm supposed to be up. So what did God do? He dealt with the devil and cast him down. So the devil loses his position because of pride. The beginning of pride is I. So when God is teaching humility, He's dealing with self. I am. Let's go to work. What makes us fail to work? How can, I, how can they blame me? Me who is land. Me. It means you've gathered whatever you think makes you the you. And you are using them to bring down others. You have gathered your beauty. And you're using it to put down others. The next thing I leads you on. Even when they give you a position, you say, How can I sit here? I tell you, you have to sit the other side, which is better. The eye tells you I can't fellowship from this place. There are even people where by the church where the Lord put you because they have no machines. You left the church and you're saying I can't fellowship from this place. 
I, me, such a one can't pass time. Such things have made us to delay in the journey. I has stopped us from working from different positions. I has delayed us in our homes and has hindered us. Many people, their marriages have crumbled down. When you sit in a meeting with them, the wife says, Me. That man is the one who began the old thing. And the man also says, Me. Me as a man, I can never do such a thing. Now I separates and crumbles a marriage. When we put away the eye and we press it with God, and the Lord becomes the eye in our lives, we are going to go back in the position of humility in the name of Jesus. I pray that this week the Lord may do a work in us. I pray that this week the Lord may do a work in you. That you don't only hear the gospel and follow it, but may God deal with the eye which had taken over. God wants to do a work in you. But the eye is still too much. Me, I can't sleep there. Me, I don't pray those kind of prayers. Why does the Lord want us to read this book today? He wants us to be good ministers. A good leader is the one who dealt with his eye. Some of the things I remember over Bishop St. Fuma he was a man with whom the Lord had dealt with his eyes you find him on pulpits of three people you find him when he has driven a long journey going to meet only five people and others say I cannot preach in three people's me I can't preach in such a church that one had died in him the Lord raises those who are humble why does he leave them up? Because the only person who has humbled themselves is the one who can manage a higher level. Only a humble person can manage a marriage. There are things which the Lord hasn't given unto you because you're not yet humble. Oh my God. There are levels in life that God cannot give you until your level of humility has gone up. There is a kind of a family. There is a kind of leadership God will never give you because when he checks in you you are not humble enough to maintain that level. Am I speaking to someone? Am I speaking to someone? Me, I feel I am melting down. I feel I'm here, but I'm melting down. There are things I've not yet become because the level of my humility cannot sustain them. Could be there is a kind of house when the Lord hasn't given it unto you because your level of humility has not yet reached a level of sleeping in a self-contained house. When you get out of it like this, then you go to the bathroom, then here. Then you go to the toilet and you flush. Then you come out, you get to the balcony. You're going to look at others as rubbish. And the Lord says, I have not yet given you that house because you're not yet humble. We've said, why does the Lord leave those who are humble? Because only a humble person can sustain a higher level. And so many people who have gone up when they are not humble, they have fallen back down. Are we together, brethren? Let us read another scripture. Daniel Nya Nya. Daniel Nya Satu. Daniel chapter 4, verses 30. Daniel chapter 4, 30. Friends, are we together?
Are we there? Tutu seo. Okay, can you read for us? 4.30. Start from 30. Daniel yesule yokuna orasa tu. Mm. Kabaka na yogela nti, chino si babuloni ya chikulu. Mm-hmm. Chena zimbo kubenye mba ya baka baka. Chena na... zimba. Jaga lewe chigambo. Chino chichivuga nze. Chena zimba. Na gambi uwekende janyaba ntunga abeda bulichimu nze. Nze umwana wabala angira. Me a son to the princes. Nze aposo mulamba. Me a full aposo. Nze. Me? Do you know what I've gone through to be what I am today? Such elements have crumbled down ministries. Have you known that king? King Nebuchadnezzar. The Lord used him to build a city. Now he has taken it out of his hands. Chena zimba okube nyumba ya baka baka na amanyi mm. agobu inzabu wange. Ulida na amanyi agobu inzabu wange. Oh. No rechiti wa echogu kulubu wange. Tuchari wa tulikuchi nge. Nze. We are still on eye. No bukulu wechiti wa cha nge. Aha. Echigambo chari nga chichari muka mwaka waka baka. Edobo zineri guanga liva mugulu. Indako. I don't need to do that. Me, the ghost of humility, why do I even get it? Let me tell you something. And may the Lord so much bless our mother. And even where the bishop is, may the Lord honor him. Do you know that the things we despise to hear, they make up the life? The gospel you don't want to listen to here in the Bible is the source of making a genuine born again. Kati, kino, mweto waze kina dangers. Now, not being humble has its own dangers. We are still here today and tomorrow we are also here Tujabiku in the power of the spirit. Tujabisa vila mkama jakutu ya amba. We shall attack with them, we shall pray for them and the Lord shall help us. Now, verse 30. Kakati rasa tu. Verse 30, I want also to give you with, with the English version. Uh, 4, Daniel 4.30. Here it is. Um, where are we? The king spoke saying, Is it not this great Babylon that I have built for a royal dwelling by my mighty power? By my mighty power. Um, uh, and for the honor of my majesty. While the word, while he was speaking that, so he says, is it not I that has built this great city with the honor of my great power? Do you know that that has made many leaders to be stricken? Once they take away the Lord and they say, Me, I brought peace, me, I did this. I pray that this gospel reaches every corner of every person's life. If you are to excel, you need something that humbles you down. The, the principle of the Lord is like this. Going higher gets out of being humbled. Are we together, brethren? Humility causes excellence. You remember how Jesus descended down and he humbled himself and put on the flesh. And he was among us, yet himself he created us. And we asked him questions and he was patient with us. And we touched him, yet we were sinners and he was patient with us. In that too much humility. 
humility that is the more the Lord raised him there is something that happens when a person humbles themselves I wish the Lord gives it to us this week something happens once a leader you humble yourself down what takes out people out of the worship yet there are good singers because of lack of humility a person who is humble once they blame them they listen a humble person gets to know they are mistake before they even tell it to them what makes people to be from this church to another to another and another and they end up becoming nothing because humility isn't in our hearts oh how I pray that this week my heart shall be humbled the Lord will put me Emma down that his name shall be glorified what does the gospel of humility bring in your life the gospel of humility brings things God back in his place. It makes you disappear and God appears. If, if you want people to see God in your life, that means your eye must disappear. If you want people to see God when you are ministering, that means your eye has to disappear. So the gospel of humility will put your eye down for the glory of God. Can I hear someone saying amen? Someone say amen. So this week and the next week and the other week let God bring us to that place of humility. I think I may wind up with this. That is the real truth. Listen to me clearly. My lovely friend online, listen to me. If the Lord loved you and he has a work in you, I told you he can never lift you up unless you humble yourself. Because the power that sustains any, anything godly is called humility. Have you got that? The power that sustains the godly things the power that sustains precious things is called humility. An expensive phone when you give it to a person who is not yet humble what does it do? Uh, I, come. I come to church when the preacher is preaching. As you are greeting me, I can respond hello, but I'm busy on my phone. Let me first respond to this, then you I will not give you attention because I'm on my phone. I will respond to you back after my phone. I can come in maybe in our meeting of interpreters. Instead of greeting my neighbors, I will touch my phone. Let me first send this email first then. Thank you very much. Uh, when I get it out of my bag, uh -huh. you know, for hey. everyone to see. I tell my like tapping and jira ampola ampola. Hey. See, he gives a new look. 
Twa do muntu nga tafunanga dozi ya yanjiri eno ya bweto waje. We gave an exposed phone to someone when they have never got that gospel of humility. Kanje kire chigambo chino oja kuchitegera nga waisewe banga etono. Let me say this you will get it after some time. Okusinja ku influence jeda mukama jawa denjiri eno yo bweto waje mu season yeno. Basing on the influence that I see which the Lord has given this gospel of humility. Wandi banga waliwe chikachia mafuta ekijja. Could be there is a unique anointing that is coming. Could be there is a special ministry the Lord is raising up in this last days. Could be there is a level where the Lord is taking the church to. But when he has first taught us humility, we may be ready to sustain that what the Lord is giving us in our days. I call upon you to come and next submit that the Lord does the work of humility in us. And we may sustain the new levels where the Lord is taking us to. If you get it, please say amen with a great hand clap. I believe the Lord is preparing the latter church. The things of getting excited are over. We have gotten excited as we get embarrassed as a church. We have gotten excited as the glory of the church pours down. We get excited as we abuse each other. A humble minister even when you are picking someone else you do it wisely even if your fellow pastor has sinned a humble minister you know how to handle the issue of your friend you know how to rebuke other people I feel the spirit of humility descends over lives I pray the spirit of humility descends over us God begin with me I am of proud. I see only myself. I am a competitive minister. I pray you give humility to my heart today. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, say Amen for the Lord. Humility. Humility. Now, I want to tell you whether you you see it, whether you don't see it, whether you see it or not, God rebukes pride. Number two, whether you know it or not, God trains humility. If he has something to do with you, he will teach you humility anyway. Until you have learned it. For him to give you that. There are people today who don't know that the situation you are going through is not because you are a sinner but God has put you in a class of teaching you humility because of a woman or a man he wants to get out of you oh my God hello there is a person that side when you have a storm that you are going through in the ministry but when the Lord is testing your humility in your life and once you humble down and you obey that storm is going to go away when you have cast out demons you have done spiritual warfare it doesn't go the Lord teaches. Now the king is being taught here. Or rasa tumolumu. E chigambo chalinga chicha alimu kamwa kakabaka. E dobozi neriguanga liva mugulu. Ntigwe kabaka nebu kaduneza. Chogera erigwe. Obwa kabaka bukufudeko. Era ono gobebwa okufa mubantu. Edo libera wamu ne nsolezo mu nsiko. Edo lili sibu omuddo ngente. Ulira. Era ebisero omusanvu biri kuyitako okutusa roli tegera ngo yali wagure nnyo yafugira mu bwakabaka bwa bantu. Era abuwa bulikwa yagala. Ah, 
jangan lalu demo propale, kubangkan demo kau makul ini dia orang rumah lah, demo di somen kau ngoringa nabiara angkiri lah. Aha. Isaya nya asatu mulu. Isaya four thirty one. Echi gambo chali inga chicha limu kamwa kaka baka. Aba cha fulmi ya bwati gagamanti nze na zimba nze mumani gangi na mchiti bwa changi. E dobo zineri guanga liva mugulu mm. Nti gwe kabaka nebu kaduneza mm -hmm. Chogera eri gwe mm. Obwa kabaka bukufu deko mm -hmm. Edo no gobe bwa okufa mubantu mm. Edo libera wamu nensolo ezomu nsiko mm. Edo liri sigu omu dongente mm. Edo viselo omu sambu bili kuyitako mm. Okutu saroli tegeda Ngo yali wagure nyo Yafugira mubwa kabaka wabantu Edavu wa buligwa ya gala Okutusha wali tegera nga nze mukama Until when you get no it is me the Lord Okutuka wali tegera nga nze yangi Until you get to know that the eye is mine e Chigambo nze mukama Teba chigama tinze gundi ye, yangi ya mukama The eye, the, the word eye is for the Lord not for anyone else Wetu ogeli la kabako umlamba Now by the time we speak now a full king Agenze mchibira Has gone to the bush solo. To eat with animals What was the Lord doing? I want you to, to give me the answer What was the Lord doing? He was humbling him ya down He took him to a class of seven years There are ministers whereby you are in a class of seven years Yet you will be very far at a very high level But the way you take people The way you treated your pastor When the Lord took you to a class That you may eat grass as animals What amazes me most we shall read there When the years of the class got over After the Lord had seen that his brethren had known that I was for the Lord when the word I had been put down The word I had been put down Because after they had put it down What amazes me The seat of this king The Lord reserved it No one touched it The king is not in his chair for seven years But God kept it No one sat on it The king this time comes When he has learned to say For me to stand on this pulpit It is not I But it is the Lord The king came back out of the field knowing For me to build this church It was not I It was the Lord After the, this conference I pray The believers and the pastors of our generation The business people in our days The younger generation nowadays Will learn to say It is not I But it is the Lord To preach the gospel To move the nations To sing gospel artists The singers of the gospel After this conference After this message You will learn to say It is not I But it is the Lord After seven years The king comes back Kabaka Omanyo kuda Ngameze Do you know coming back when he was when he was all hairy like an animal? Simanyo ba ya tukira msaruni, ba ya tukira wa onoto vulira. I don't know whether he reached in the saloon or where. I don't know. Bamu akofana ni injala ziri wezit. I imagine when all the nails were like claws. Amanyo garike omudogo amiyaka msaamfu kwa abadari amudongeinte. The teeth have grass. 
for seven years because he was feeding on grass. I imagine that tongue was green because he was feeding on grass. The first people who smelled from him, the breath which was coming from him, I don't know. All the clothes and the shoes were worn out. I imagine when he was back, out of that class of humility, God knows how to train people in humility. There is a person when you are going through that anything, but what makes you to go through them, the Lord is training you to be humble. I know a person who said, there are battles of fault in my marriage but I discovered the Lord was teaching me to be humble as a husband there are battles of fault in my marriage there are marriages which have failed to be stable because the Lord is waiting for you as a wife to submit and humble down and say it is not I but the Lord praise the name of the Lord praise Jesus Christ praise be to the Lord who helps us my God my God my God are we hearing something is God speaking to us amen mm. verse 33 verse 33 Musaweyo echigambo nechitukirira nebukadneza nagobebwa okuva mu bantu nali omuddo ngente no mubiri gwe ne gutobo omusulo gwo muguru okutuse nvirize rezakula nge byo yebye mpungu ne njala zenge njala ezenyonyi enakwezo wezagwa nze nebukadneza ne nyumusa amaso gange elye gulu amagezi gange ne ganziramu Ne neva zoyo aliwa gurenyo. Ne mutendele zane muwe chitigwa ya abero mulamu emirembe ne mirembe. Kubanga okufuga kwe kwe kufuga okutali guawo. No waka waka we buwa mirembe na mirembe. Na bobo na batula monsi abalo wazanga sichi nchu. Awa oma. Eda akolanga buwa ya gala muje ediomu gulu. Eda ne muabu abatula monsi. Odi yange njagere chuse. Have you heard now that he has learned how to exalt the Lord? Now to demo kapatinga agulumi zamu kama akuko akademu. Obo jukire kakomi. Uh huh. From verse thirty-four. Thirty-four. Ne enakwezo wezagua zenevu kadnesa ne njimu sama so gange liye gulu ama gezi gange ne ganziramu ne neva zoyo aliwa gurenyo ne mutendeleza ne muwe chitibwa oyabero mulamu emire mbe ne emire mbe kubango kufuga kwe kwe kufugo kutali guawo no waka waka we buwa mire mbe na mire mbe na bobo na batula monsi abalo wazanga sechi nchu eda akola nga buwa ya gala muje elio mugulu are you hearing now how he is preaching a gospel of worship? Before he was saying, I did build that city. And as we speak now, he has learned that it's only the Lord who does it. May these weeks God take us to a school of humility. May God take you who came today in this lunch hour. Even you who is watching us. May God take you to a place where he's going to teach you how to be humble. Because God raises the humble. Why? Because only the humble people can maintain those levels. Their levels in life that pride cannot operate. Pride cannot operate. Walola biyo kwa mtu nga ya kula na hawa kukulevo watu uka na hako mao. Have you ever seen a person who grew and mounted to a certain level and they got stuck there? When it is in demons that made them to be there. They never seen, they didn't fall into adulthood. But they came out mounted to some level and they got stuck there. And yet, basing on how the Lord nurtures us, it takes us from level to level, glory to glory. 
Can I tell you what causes that? That person must have begun when they are humble. He began when he's honoring people. When he worships, people say, thank you for worshiping. And he would say, not me, the Lord. He would say, not me, brethren. It's the glory is for the Lord. But once he reached somewhere, he took away the Lord and he put in himself when they tell him thank you for leading us he says it has not been easy even tomorrow I'm coming back I'll show you 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 have done us so good please increase on the envelope you haven't honored my anointing that is what has beaten us most here when we were down and we were humble when we mounted higher you first ask how many people are coming for that conference uh, how much facilitation are you giving me now we think about us the artists me I am an artist do you know why we reach some place and you can't go far what made the dawn moons who sounded from the 70s and they are still sounding today. Why something has to be discovered. For you when you reach higher, your principles change. Why? There is something that came in. The Lord went away and then you took over yourself. So you go to a place asking, how do I benefit? Before you used to get to do things for the benefit of the Lord. But today you're inquiring, how do I benefit out of this? Now the Lord can never add another level unto you. Because you will never be able to sustain it. I told you what sustains greatness is humility. Even if you don't take many from me today, take these few. One, humility sustains greatness. Look at David. David. He was very high anointed. Very high anointed. But he was a humble man. He would listen to prophets. He knew how to put his head down and cry to God. He knew it was not me. He knew he was the Lord. I pray we understand this. May God bless you so much. May God bless you so much. May God bless you so much. Let's just wind up with a word of prayer. You are holy Lord, you are worthy. You alone deserve the glory and all the praise. We love you and we will worship you. We thank you for this time that we are handling about the great topic of humility. And we thank you for the revelation that you give us, you give us through Bishop Stephen. And we thank you even for this time that something is beginning in our country. Lord, we know you want to take us to higher levels because you are teaching us humility. And when you look into our, in, into our hearts, we have been proud, Lord. We have been arrogant. Pride and felt our hearts, Lord. We ask you to forgive us, Lord. Where we had taken away from your, you, away from your place. And we have exalted ourselves. We have desired to say we have done things in our power. Lord, we come back to that place of bringing back the you back into your place, Lord. Lord, we ask you to have mercy on us today. 
Help us that this spirit this gospel of humility may be over us. Tiambo menye menye mitima ya fe. Help us and melt our hearts. Go ekagwa manyoko dia mitima ya mayinya no jaka nyo jigonza. Only you can soften the hard heart. Mukama gonje mitima ya forware. Lord soften our hearts today. Teach us humility oh Lord. Teach us how we can be. Teach us to walk in this. Teach us to walk in this. Lord your church hasn't known this thing. Teach us how we can be. Teach us to walk in this. Lord your church Lord your church hasn't known this thing. Teach us in the name of Jesus. Teach us in the name of Jesus. Teach us in the name of Jesus. Take us into that place. Where we shall learn how to humble ourselves. When we say not us, but the name of the Lord. Where we shall learn how to humble ourselves. When we say not us, but the name of the Lord. Where we shall learn how to humble ourselves. When we say not us, but the name of the Lord. Where we shall learn how to humble ourselves. When we say not us, but the name of the Lord. Where we shall learn how to humble ourselves. When we say not us, but the name of the Lord. Where we shall learn how to humble ourselves. When we say not us, but the name of the Lord. Where we shall learn how to humble ourselves. When we say not us, but the name of the Lord. Where we shall learn how to humble ourselves. When we say not us, but the name of the Lord. Where we shall learn how to humble ourselves. When we say not us, but the name of the Lord. Where we shall learn how to humble ourselves. When we say not us, but the name of the Lord. Where we shall learn how to humble ourselves. When we say not us, but the name of the Lord. Where we shall learn how to humble ourselves. When we say not us, but the name of the Lord. Where we shall learn how to humble ourselves. When we say not us, but the name of the Lord. Where we shall learn how to humble ourselves. When we say not us, but the name of the Lord. Where we shall learn how to humble ourselves. When we say not us, but the name of the Lord. Where we shall learn Lord, come and fulfill it today. Come and take your position today. We call upon you, O Lord. We call upon you, O Lord. Many books have come and have gone. Many books have come and have gone. But the gospel of humility is not a gospel of humility. Many books have come and have gone. But the gospel of humility is not a gospel of humility. Many books have come and have gone. But the gospel of humility is not a gospel of humility. Many books have come and have gone. But the gospel of humility is not a gospel of humility. Many books have come and have gone. Let it not be a judgment center for me. That I fell because of pride. Lord, I ask you to help me. Lord, I ask you to help the church of this generation. That we may sustain what you've given us, O Lord. Lord, we give you glory. 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 Lord, we give you you can watch it from wherever you are. Internationally, locally, you are invited. But even to those who can make it physically here, you are also invited. Come and be in this class where God teaches humility so that He can lift you up and trust you with more things. God bless you as you come. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, tu agalo kwe baza umtume Emma Marvin Seliange. We want to thank Apostle Emma Marvin Seliange. Ah, ulwa kasera koka tu yisizamo. For that session that he has seen us through. Ah, mikwano katunda mlunji. Friends, God is so good. Ah, sebo mukama wange. Ah, inulancha wa ya fe malidi zanga tu ogera kona ba ntu abali onlineni. This lunch hour wind up as we talk to those who are online. They always get a few questions based on what they have learned. And those online, this is your time. In case you have any question, you can send it forth. But as you send your questions, let us pass the time of giving in. 
the time we are in uh, we thank all the churches were reopened and unto us who are here we are going to give in from here then those who are over the radio and those online and also those who are getting the whatsapp audios you always give in the virtual way these numbers that we are going to read uh, our baskets that side where you are. Consent. And once you put money on them, it is like getting from your pocket and you put here in the basket. And also those who are Just type your question under the comments, we shall see it. Uh, our numbers for giving in are 0706. 540 and 102 that is the one for ATL and the MTN number 0785 058 540 those ones you can use them in three ways you can call on them because they are the contacts of the church to inquire or make any question that you want. Uh, and secondly, you can use them, they are also on WhatsApp for you to inquire about something. And thirdly, there are the same numbers we use when we are giving in. In any way, your pledge, a love offering, your love offering, your offering, and any other kind of offering, it will be reaching us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'll get one person from the congregation in case you have a question. Please. You lift up your hand. But in case there is no other you of over online, we are waiting for you a little. And those of online, you know very well that on Fridays we are always with you in Ask Your Pastor. Amen. Amen. As who are here, we can give in. Uh, Please without reading my Bible, listening to preachings here online. Uh, uh, is, it, is it okay I fast and pray without reading my Bible listening to preachings here online Chechibuzo Chabuzecho Tichikola Makulu when Sabo Sabi Nayanga when Siva Nayanga Somia Bible and then in prison over Kabunoko online Ibamita Debbie Nancy Amen Amanya Diego Debbie Nancy Makamako Muxa May the Lord bless you in the way of the Kubana Nyonta Yakusiva and thank you for being with us first of fasting Oksiva Chirungi fasting is good Nechi Nevi Chifula Okubere Chamani but it has other elements which make it strong Oksiva Sikwe Rumianja Choka fasting is not only making yourself to feel hungry the Lord is never only looking for the hunger that we feel. But fasting is one of the ways for setting yourself apart for the Lord. It means I allow now the spiritual hunger that I may eat the spiritual. You've left this physical food for you to get time for the spiritual food. Fasting is not only 
kusaba msasa nya abantu bagamba nsi bye nenga namo na kulamba ngatasome bible ndo kusaba ngatasabi so that fasting so much flows with reading the bible and prayer and worshiping i pity those who fast but you spend a whole day without praying so okuchifunza mu mwangu nyo so to make it to answer it briefly ekibuzo kyobuzize mu muri answer the question which you've asked the answer was also there ki go deep in the word fasting is a time of going deep in the lord okusiba kasera gwako kugenda obuziba mu chigambo ne mukama and no you can go deep my nice going deep in the word of god ati nawo chimaito sobola genda buziba mu mukama ngatogenze buziba mu chigambo chi spend time to read the word as long as you listen to the messages but read the word twalo obuddo somee chigambo ni wangu badde ulirizo obaka naye ne chigambo chi somere ngagwe ati ne chino kanchi babulu tuli mulembe nga mwino kuigo kusoma nyo bible musoro okufuna amazima and we are in an era where by you have to learn to read the bibles for yourself so that you get the truth Omuntu awulira ekigambo nga atasoma bible anyinyoka mangu A person who hears the word and also reads the bible they get to be explained easily Ina kuzo bintu binji bituulira bobita sanga yo mazima ga bible kyangu nyo okugula This this day there are so many things we hear and if there is no truth from the bible it is easy to make you go off way So kama kwenye mukisango funa obuddo obumanya kusoma bible So may the lord bless you Amina uh, mina Minana Hilda mm. Agamba Post I have a question mm. uh, requesting for some clarification what if I say me I can't get sick me I can't fail me I can me, uh, me I am the righteousness of God with bible references is it ayogera kunze nze ngagamba anti nze sisobola okwatulo okugamba sisobola kulwala Erecho chiba chichali malala echo mm. tegaba malala now that is not pride kubanga wenyonyola ko chicholi mukatonda because you're explaining yourself what you are in god togambe ntinze you've not sirwala say that me i don't fall sick nze sikola bwenti me i don't do like this eri mu mutima ekibayo In the heart what is there? Oba yongo ngo chokera ntinze kubanga nze sirwala because of nze. If there is that eye that you don't fall sick because of your own potential. Gaba malala. Then that is pride. Nebo bango chokera ku rocho choli mu katonda. But if you speak it because of what you are in the Lord. Ngo gama ntinze omwana wa katonda sina kulwala. And you say me as a child of God I don't have to fall sick. Sina kuita mu kino. I don't have to go through this. That means oli mukunyonyola chicholi mu katonda. Chitegeza you explaining what you are in the Lord. Chitegeza kando mwade chifoche cha waguru nawe ni wewe chifoche chidako. It means you've given God his high position and you also you take yours. Ewe fina tubiyogera. We all say such. Kama nzengo nzengo mwana wa katonda. Me as a child of God. Au sina kuberawo. I don't have to be in such a place. So nzengo enzijewo yolinze ajjawo katonda. The other eye takes away God and puts you you. Kama kwenye mukisa. May the Lord bless you. We wao uh, on a blessed child blessed gospel promoter uh since the Facebook kwa buliza na gamba anti simanyi musumbo bagwa katabu wakasomye kube kibuzo kino kigendera eri muntu ayasomye akatabu. Wakasomye ko. Kyali mu lugendo lwa kasoma. Kyali agamba kitie kiri mu katabu ako. Mm ngaka amanyi nyo when i read it mm. uh, it it i feel goose pimples grow over me and tears flowing over me chichecho when i yeye aguza katabu mm. na yebwa akasoma ulira mm. olutiko ngalumu na amaziga ngasoma katabu abuza chichechi chiche mwatadde mu katabu ya boss echo mm. bibiri ngenda kokera bibiri chisoka mm. mami Mami ajja kutuyamba ko nnyo. Mami okufunya nnyo lakala chiche kiri mukataba ako. To explain us what is in. Ne eche nyinzo okogera nga kasomye ke kitono. Mm. Ati no muntu amanye bintu byo moyo. Mm. Kendo ozant it is a timely message. Bubaka bwa kasera che nyinzo okulowozanze. Amalala gali mukutusula nga abawereza. Ne kan putting us down as a church. Walo tetekedwa kutuka kubanga twina amalala. There is why we are not going to reach because we have so, pride in us. Chigambo cha chisera. So it's a timely message. Omuntu ya chiteka teke ya chiwandika yali yaitibwa katonda. The person who wrote it was called by God. Atebino ibigambo kana byagale kanisa efune. And these are the words which the Lord wants the church to receive. Sonje ndoza chiriko okuberawo kwa katonda chiri anointed. 
For me, I know it is anointed. It has the presence of God. Yes, that is why you feel the way you feel. And I call upon others also to buy that may be in their lives. The rest, mommy will also add on. Amen. Dubai, so I was not yet to Liza, and I could visit Zanyo Kubantu, where is all Nakora, Lido Nayabuz, and Tiategera Tia, Tiamala Gamu with them. Gamu with them. Wow, wow, and Tegera and Tiantia Malala Gamped them. How do I know that pride is out of me at a particular when I've reached a given level? Jeans Okubanga Tachina answer your boo, and you take a moon to go to Gaga with them Kubanga. It may not be having an on spot answer because pride gets out of us gradually. But the day you begin to see that what you are no longer controls you. When you can control what you are, whether you are among the big or the small, but when you can control what you are, where you have to abuse, you say, mm, it's too much, but I won't say that. Once you begin to say that what you are does not control you, then you know you've begun the journey of acquiring humility. Once you begin to say that what you are does not control you, once you have a control over what you are, it is a journey which means you've be begun the journey of humility. That's how I can answer you. Amen. And call with Ambrida, no Alec Facebook, Kaites Edith, Gamba, we embed him group. Nga or recall of where is of Taliba, you see, Sumba, local down here in Navy to Katibia, Lete, Pia, to in a group secret Sabida, WhatsApp group, see, no where is of Siga Katuba online, Bunji, Katuna Gamba, Wabanga, Riku group, a Talia, you see, seek, but group, now you see, to in a group, Sinafi, or in Amugamba, and T. Uh, go again to Kulembero, where is Abuno, a robe to Ali Nemumasu. Gamuo, where is over what on Laini Naye on Nagamba Nedda, Sijaks over a Kubani no Kuba, Kuchachi, Ange Kuba, Chachi, UCC. Naga no where is Abuba Mook to Ala Masu. Abuza go Gaba Malala over. Katsoka, she demongered Billy Soka. Chisinzira, Mutima Chimo Chikoridi. It begins under which heart have you done it? Bumango Mutima Wangi, Nanyo Vunanzi, Babuli, Rokuero Mueswa, Muchiri Chevanqua, Chem Vunanzi Wako. If the reason why you refuse the other response, but I want to be faithful in this other one. Gichingan Sizo Vunanzi, Wabun, Yakuta, Obolava, Obunka Kataku. Because if I accept the other, I'm going to kill this other which I had before. Tugeze on pity the Musawa, a overnight, your Kuvera, your Nenga, Ate, Nalagan, your Kwan family and the Muksaba. Let's say you call me for the time of when I to be there, and yet I purpose to be with my family in prayer at the same time. Nekugamba Sijak Sobala Ku Jakubanga, Nalagan, your Kusaba Konava, and no Muchara. And I told you I won't be able to make it because I purpose to pray with my wife and the children. I go to Gaba Malala. That is never prayer. Nekuba Kuvera Mwesigua, a year, Yabanesika. But it is being faithful where you are interested. Humility does not cause you to compromise. Humility does not cause you to accept where you don't have to accept. Humility does not cause you to accept where you don't have to accept. 
they will even betroth you but when you don't want because of whom you say i accept the ate, man that i did love him ate ba to igirizo bweto waje they taught us humility the man came to me and they said let me accept and love him and get married to him bweto waje te bakweta kukiriza what ina kukiriza humility does not cause you to accept what you don't have to accept ne mushumba shemfu mai ne bintu binji bweto waje wenze mujulira kubaka mukama ya munyanjo yango bweto waje ina binji byatage ndanga mu ashokole bintu ebirala even pastor said why there certain things he never involved himself in for, for him to do others so bweto waje kwe kwimirira kulwa katonda wo kashita kanda banga kukiriza ngatoganyirwa kitu kya chonna no yimirira kulwa amazima mukama agenda kuwolereza so humility is standing for the sake of your god and be faithful where he has entrusted you with kujja ngo ganyirwa nze nze sibera ku group ye yonza taka kati yanga jende ko ya manyi nyo atenji vako ndi anzi je kana katugamba ngo uli byo oliko fetu ku UCC namba atenji je kumwe ye kalishizo kugamba nga bitu byo oli bya malala abo byo nonye god bless you Thank you very much those of you who have been able to ask question. Ah uh, tweyanziza musumba kino kye kiba kisemba yo lwo budde ne wali wabadde abuza anti ah uh, obutabo obusigaddo akubutalibwa ngo jeka ka humility bwa meka obutabo we bulibwa mutwalo mutwalo atobo sobola no kufuna paka yo no mulundi gumu so sobolo bwe funira sumba yale ko butabo mwenda kana ko himiti tekeke 10 so sobulo ko bufuna bonna akatusembye ne kino kubanga chemanye echo chandi bade kibuzo oba kibuzo cha mtu yena norin princess princess agambye how can i pray to god with humility so volunteer okusaba eri katonda obweto waze how can i pray to god with humility mm. number 1 oba waje gele muganda wa mulizungu Uganda nsaba ntya katonda mu bweto waje mm. ekisoka soko tegere katonda yani who is god bulono manya katonda yani tojja kulemerwa kumanya kya kola omanyi banji tugenze maso ga mukama ninga tomenda kumanya who is god katonda yani and bebe bebe nawe gamenta abana ba site ba manyanga yenze mukama Chovola ba basa bangabe mulugunya watu jeno tutireno watu kola boti watu kola boti buluma nyamu kama nyani omane bibuza byo mubuza nze nembera ze ntu semu nempulanga njana mbuze kaonde bibuza wacha wacha dolu wacha mukama wakoze boti nebulondoze ntebe ye nendoze obukuru bwe nendoze anti muyinze we bintu byonna chinje tuto kweto wazenga mukama sija kubuza kubanga goto buzikwa lumu yakobo yobu yabuza mukama bibuzo kama na mugamba wali ludda wanga nkole misinji je singalinga mugamba ndi mukuru ndi munene so soko tegere katonda yani oja kusaba mgo eto waze oja kumanya wo shitukira ne wo imirira twine ebikolo ebyokunguru ebiraga okweto waza maso ga mukama abantu banga batubirewe batubye nyira ngo banito waza nga maso ga ngene basaba bible ga mukwe eto waza maso ga mukama ekisoka ebikolo ebyokunguru kufuka mirako no saba kamoni yoka kukakanya katonda ka kweto waza kutwakale kawo Nenga it's a very good sign. Okuwa ni kemi kono. Kaboni oka kusalira ninga maso ga mukama. Nengo boto wazo buveri munda. Chovola ba omuntu wabati naba kutegera mukama. Nebo mugambo wani kemi kunta jiwanika. Nebo ategera mukama chali moti magwe. Wena kula banga afuka midde yekka. Awani se mikono yekka. Kitegeza ntegede o oh, onogwe na jido kula ba yabadani. Mukama kanshembe yokano. Mujukira Isaya sura ya mukaga. Ntikabaka uzia we yafa. Isaya laba mukama munamula bamukitibwa nge kinembe kijuza yekalu ke kyadakao munagwa wansi kitegeza ategedde ntino gwende ko mukama wa manyi so mukama akwenye omukisa okweto waiza mukama kuva kuva mukumutegera no manya ntye muyinza we bintu byonna god bless you so much eh amina kubanga mm. waliwa abantu nafe mm. go sinka no bako mukolo mm. no muyitako mm. neba mara kugamba Oh yeye tata wa mchara wo. Tolo no no tandika nenga luli mubaddao we mutyo bo mubonga ko be bonga byajja ne kasaba kugamba no mutegera no tandiko ku mwete. Musumbwa we bale nyoe bale dalala ku gamba ya mchibuze. Mufunze sina bonyinza ku chikuwandi yimirira boti. Olokola gemu kama ndoli muto waje. Obakira 
sinabo nyinza kuchikuwa mm. ne gubo no mutegera chali mm. chija kutonda we mbela jo mjo sababu na yoku bango mutegera chali we wow kama kwenye omukisa msumba wali wa yagala abatu ulirizanga ayagalo kwa tulobu lokozi tumatu zobu lokozi tuberenga tukala obude wa febu genze duka obusungu wa katonda boboli yonga tuloko kanga obatu dola wakatambi kano obatu dola kutibi yungo otambula nolinga kichifani noga kanchila bi no uri ebigambo bino geyena yadala ate geyena ejide batakiriza bible gama ate batakiriza kumazo kubasinga tuko omusango lokoka kiriza wenenye era bobo oli yongagala kulokoka omutangu gwandi badde osasula okulokoka yesu yagusasula kati gosigeza chimuchoka kukiza na mutima gwo nero na kamwako okulokoka icho bo chikola yonna joli oja kubolokosi Nibo banga nze tonda byeko nieka stokiz na mutima gwo nero na kama wako okenda kuloka era kusaba demo amona ngi bigambo bino ngoma zo kukiza na mutima gwo gamanti ai mukama mkweba zanze olwalero kubanga mpuli de chigambo cho ne mpuli yanga nje kala kuloka nsalawo nze no mutima gwange nje tula na kama wako ange okuleke bibi byange mukama nsonyiwa Owandi kama nyagangi mchitabe chovula mu. Hiro kufono lwa alero. Mbero muana u. Uweba li mukama kubanga andokosi. Mkwisto yesu mwensabide. Amina. Kama nsabido mtuwe ina jali. Mnyueze. Mlondole. Mgoberele. Eda mukama. Mungulunga mekanisa ntufu. Echitipa chukudile. Mkwisto yesu mwensabide. Amina. Eda wamu nechisa. Chama of Jesus Christ, no kuagala ko ai katonda, no kuse chima ko mwa mtu ko, vena fefena, nenda mbuga na mbuga, 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 nenda mb